this is a look at my 1 to 12 scale Tesla Cybertruck uh, 3D print. So here you can see the finished product. I've made a smaller version of it with uh, tires in the back and actually placed in the back of the larger version. Uh, if you look at the files of Thingiverse, the smaller version is 100% and the larger version is 250% of the files. So here you see the TPU tires. So I use TPU for both the tires and the inner rims. And I, since I use the snap together model, it worked really well. This is the rear hatch, which I haven't attached yet in the video. And this is the front windshield. Now this is the longest print. It's uh, done without support in this case. And I use the snap together model. So you'll see the holes there. Uh, I didn't end up using the snaps. I just glued it because the snaps were slightly misaligned in my case. Uh, on the smaller model though, the snap worked okay. So it must have been some printing issue. And this one took, I think, over a day. So here's the finished product. I've kind of done a little bit of a zoom here. You can see how large it is in relation to the CR10 bore, uh, bed, which you should be familiar with. And like I said, it's a it's about 19 and a half inches long, so it's pretty sizable. The tires do spin because they're attached, uh, they're like just push in attached. And I glued everything together using super glue and some uh, PLA chemical adhesive to, to really get the bond well. It actually went together fairly easy compared to most prints and because it's a silver uh, truck. I didn't need to paint it or anything because I can print in print in silver and print in black. So it looks actually really good. Uh, actually, probably better in person than it does in the video. So after the larger version of this, uh, in a couple minutes here, you're going to see some shots of the smaller version up close. It's very similar. It's just just smaller. I kind of wish I would have made the bigger version, maybe 300%. Uh, the CR-10, I think, would support that. And I could have fit the entire truck in the back with, with the rear uh, gate attached, uh, which I do plan on attaching here. So there's the, here's the smaller one. In some ways, it looks better just because I think some of the details are easier to print when they're smaller. And there's a little bit of shaking in the camera. So... Again, if you uh, like this video, please like and please subscribe. And you know, please leave in the comments if you decided to print this. Uh, I'm, I'm really interested to see how other people's uh, prints turned out. I think mine turned out really well for, uh, for this print. I do think possibly it could have been printed as, as one piece instead of two, but 